What's up? Welcome back. I'm Chris, your NFL writer here at OccupyFantasy.com. Here were some NFL DFS picks and tips for the Week 2 slates on FanDuel and DraftKings with a first look here at the quarterback position. We're driving position previews, middle of the week, every week throughout the rest of the NFL season here, hopefully through the playoffs as well. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel below to get notified when we have a new video for you. If you like what we did here, give us a thumbs up, of course. We appreciate that. Our daily plug drops every Friday afternoon, which goes through our favorite plays by position on the slate. So what what I aim to do here is actually just kind of go through some of the options we're already looking at based off the first look at the data and the matchups for the games that are coming up here in week two. Uh, If you have any questions for the staff, first and foremost, comment on this video. If there's not a uh, quarterback covered that you wanted to hear some more about, why don't you chime in and, and let us know and maybe we'll fire off a comment back and let you know what we think. You can also join our Discord through a link below where you can come in there and have conversations with the rest of the Occupy staff and other subscribers to Occupy Fantasy to talk about the upcoming action, not just here in the NFL in Week 2, but across all the other sports that everybody's playing throughout the uh, calendar year for DFS. All right, let's get into it. First quarterback I want to talk about today is Kyler Murray. So obviously everybody knows he scored five touchdowns against the Tennessee Titans in Week 1, a game where the Titans just really didn't show up whatsoever, and Kyler still... Got the job done, getting us 34.6 DraftKings points. He's going to be the most expensive quarterback this week on either website to uh, to throw into your lineups. You know, you see he's 8,200 here on DraftKings, I believe over here on the FanDuel side of things. Don't need a tutorial. Play enough on this website. Um, Kyle Murray is 8,700 this week on FanDuel NFL. So, you know, he's going to be expensive for us to play. He's probably still worth considering in high-risk environments because Arizona is uh, in a good matchup here. Against the Vikings, another team that did fairly well on offense, showed some promise, and has some uh, ability to kind of keep the pace for this game high on both ends for both offenses. Um, Other benefit of Kyler Murray, obviously, is the action with his legs. Kyler is effectively, I don't want to say the goal lineback, but he is very involved in the red zone. He had the only carry, or rush attempt, I should say, inside the five last week against the Titans, which turned into his rushing touchdown. So Kyler Murray would like him very much this week. The other quarterback, and he's a little bit of a a better deal, I think, over here on DraftKings here in week two. It's the GOAT. It's Tom Brady. You know, 6,900 this week. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are huge. I believe 12, 12 and a half point favorites against the Atlanta Falcons this week. The thing that's going to be tough here with the Buccaneers is, um, you know, we can kind of look at them as a team here while we talk about Tom Brady. Yeah, I mean... It's going to be pretty difficult, you know, to get Chris Godwin and uh, and Mike or Mike Evans or Antonio Brown in there and feel super good, you know, at these price points that you're actually locking up um, exposure to some touchdowns uh, from a team we expect to score 32 points in week two um, specifically, right? They're all probably going to get the ball a little bit. So, you know, especially in low risk contests, the safest thing to do here is potentially lock Tom Brady into your lineup. In, in lowest contest. One of the things we're thinking about here as the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who are expected to be, you know, the highest scoring offense here in week two. Obviously, there's a there's no rushing upside with Tom Brady. He's just a, a, a traditional pocket passer, but the best one of all time. So definitely worth consideration here as we get into week two. Kind of like both sides of a game this week, and that might be a little bit of a hint at one of the games that we're advocating for stacking in high-risk contests this week. Um, and that's Justin Herbert of the uh, Los Angeles Chargers and obviously Dak Prescott, his opposing quarterback this week from the Dallas Cowboys. You know, we saw all throughout 2020 that the Dallas Cowboys liked playing at a super fast pace in neutral situations especially, and so that sort of elevated uh, the amount of plays run by both offenses and NFL games with the Dallas Cowboys. That did continue even without Dak a little bit uh, in 2020, but it just was not the same at the same level as when he was in there. You know, in week one against Tom Brady's Buccaneers, we kind of saw a little bit of this as well with Dak Prescott. So, um, you know, high total game. I think it's well over 50 points. Uh, the Chargers are the favored side here. You know, we have Herbert just $6,700 here on DraftKings and on FanDuel, you know, he's 76. So reasonably affordable price at the position for Herbert. Um, Dak Prescott, a little bit more expensive on both sides. 8000 here on FanDuel. Dak Prescott, uh, just a little bit more on DraftKings at 6,800. So, um, you know, as far as just wrapping up kind of our thoughts on both sides here a little bit, 
good pass protection so far for Justin Herbert. Um, and obviously just Dak, the way he plays and, and with the weapons he has. You know, we just think this game can indeed meet the expectations of the odds makers here. So like both sides quite a bit. The, uh, the data nerds, if you will, really love the Los Angeles Rams in week one. I believe they were graded out as the best overall team from an expected points added per play basis you know, on offense and defense. And a lot of that had to do with the performance of this man under center. Uh, Matthew Stafford, you know, just 6,400 this week over on the DraftKings side of things. And 7,500 on FanDuel. So uh, definitely think the Rams are going to have an interesting opportunity to perform again in week two. Because we saw Russell Wilson, who played the Colts in week one, have some immense success with the deep ball. Matthew Stafford's going to have an opportunity to hit guys like Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson, Robert Woods um, fairly often in this game against the Indianapolis Colts. So like that a lot. You know, there's a lot of players that are interesting here in week two. Um, these are kind of the, the concentrated group that we like the most right now. Just some quick hitters on things that did stand out to us. I think find it very curious that Jalen Hurts price did not move at all after his week one performance against the Falcons. That was extremely, extremely efficient. So that's something to keep an eye on. It is a tougher matchup this week against San Francisco 49ers. So it should be pretty difficult for Hurts to completely repeat what he did against the Falcons. But just because he has that rushing upside, and at least here on DraftKings, his price hasn't moved at all. I think we have to consider it a little bit. Um, you know, I said we like Kyler Murray off the top here. So if you're into the game stack type of thing and high-risk contests, definitely makes sense to give Kirk Cousins some consideration. You know, most of the time, you know, in week one, we saw Arizona get there. We saw New Orleans get there, and we saw um, Philadelphia get there. Those were three game stacks that we liked. The other side of the game didn't necessarily keep up. That's not typically what happens. Um you know, if one side is high scoring, the other side has more opportunities for drives themselves. So in this scenario, the Vikings will have a chance, hopefully, if, you know, Kyler's doing his thing, Denner Hopkins doing his thing, Arizona's doing very well, the Minnesota Vikings will have a chance to kind of keep up as well when they get the football. So I have to consider Kirk Cousins as another option this week. Finally, you know, he is one of one. Uh, that's, that's kind of the joke, I guess, these days. Jameis Winston is not going to be left with uh, short fields as frequently as he was in week one, just because of how pathetic, frankly, the, the, the Packers played in week one. Here against Carolina in week two, you know, expect Jameis to have more opportunities for longer drives with more typical average star positions, you know, around the 25, 30 yard line, his own 25, 30 yard line, not the opponents. And uh, that should help with the, the passing yards. Not complaining about five touchdowns again, if we get that, but uh, I do think Jameis Winston is another option this week. That is pretty interesting four quarterbacks in week two. That's going to do it for this rundown, folks. For more information, keep an eye out for our daily plug at OccupyFantasy.com, where we will give, from this group of guys we just discussed, our favorite expensive and value plays at the quarterback position you can use in your lineups this Sunday. Again, that'll arrive by Friday evening at OccupyFantasy.com. Plug will also include some recommendations for our favorite expensive and value players uh, at every other position. So, uh, Keep an eye out for that. There'll be game stack ideas in there for high-risk contests. Contest recommendations to consider based off of the amount of dollars you have at your disposal to play you know, every single weekend. Um, and just general low and high-risk roster construction tips tailored to the slate based off of our evaluation of the conditions of the slate. So you won't want to miss that. Again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel below. You'll get an alert when all of our videos are uploaded. All of our live streams are scheduled, so you want to make sure that you do that. Uh, these position previews are going to hit in the middle of the week every single week for the rest of the NFL season. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. Um, we also have all the content that you know Brian Jester is doing where he's putting out our showdown previews. Uh, they're doing the Million Dollar Mission uh, review of his 150 max lineups on FanDuel and DraftKings and the Millionaire Maker contests. Those, those hit every Tuesday night, so make sure that you're catching those as well. Lots of things going on in the Occupy Fantasy YouTube channel this year. Can't wait to bring you more content each and every week. Um, again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We sure would appreciate that. Uh, it lets us know if you want to see more of this stuff and, and different things that we haven't been doing. Um, so again, consider that if you really enjoyed the video here today. For questions, comment below. Is there a quarterback we didn't cover? Is there a quarterback you want to hear more about? Definitely drop a comment. We will uh, reply to you and, and give us, give you some of our thoughts, what our model says when that gets released. Uh, 
the middle of this week. It is Wednesday today, so that'll actually be coming out soon. And of course, you can join our Discord to talk about the slate with other NFL DFS players and ask questions of the staff in there as well. Again, for Occupy, I'm Chris. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll talk to you soon.